Let's take a look how to use Map Transfer in DAS Studio coming up. Hello everyone, I'm Jay and on this channel we want to help you become better 3D artists with DAS Studio. On today's episode I'm going to show you how to use a fantastic little tool called Map Transfer that is very complicated to comprehend but it's built right into DAS Studio and it's very helpful if you want to transfer the textures from one UV set to another if the two UV sets are on the same figure. Now that sounds extremely complicated. Let me show you a practical example of why this is useful. I have the Rune figure here, which is based on Genesis 3. And back in those days, many of the custom characters came with their own custom UV set. So there was a base UV set for the base figure. But if you bought a character, sometimes they came with a texture set that came with its own UV set. So if I go and select her on the Surfaces tab here with my Surfaces selected, I have, if I type in UV here to filter this out, I can see that I have multiple UV sets here. So the base female, that's the one that comes with the standard Genesis 3 base figure back in the day. But if I go and apply that to Rune, you can see something isn't quite working here. There's like ugly strips and the lips aren't where they're supposed to be and there's like streaks and all that. And that's because Rune has her own UV set. And I need that so that the Rune textures will show up correctly. But I want to use these textures on the new Genesis 9 figure. And thanks to Keyman Studios, we have this product that'll make that happen, but it will require the textures to look good on this UV set. So map transfer is a thing that can bake them from one UV set onto another. And here's how we use it. So we're going to stay on the Surfaces tab and we're going to need to know what is up with these templates here. So if you open the figure, you have the surfaces down here. And through here, you can select the arms and the legs and the torso and all that. But you also have this thing here at the top, which is called the default templates. And here we have template one and template two, template three and so forth. And what these are are literally shortcuts that will select multiple material zones that let us apply the same texture that is used for all these surfaces. So these are the surfaces here, and this is essentially a handy shortcut that selects one or multiple of them. And each of these templates corresponds to one UDIM tile or one texture set, if you will. We need to know this because map transfer needs to know this. So template one, we just need to remember ears, eye socket face, and lips. The second one, we just need to remember it's the torso. The third one, we need to remember it's the legs and the toenails and so forth. So let's see if we can make that happen. With the first one selected, just so that I can remember here, I right click on the surfaces tab and there's a thing that's called map transfer. If I bring that up, a new window opens and this now lets me recreate these templates on the left hand window here. On the right, we can see all the surfaces. So let me go and do that. Right click in here and say new template. This is going to be called template one. And now I can go and left click and drag any of these things from the right hand side from the surfaces into the template. So I need the ears. So left click and drag that onto the template. Drop it here. Then we need eye socket and face. So eye socket. Then we need the face. Then we need the lips. So anything kind of, you know, face related. There we go. That's cool. This will be remembered. So to switch this over to template two, I'm going to have to go and cancel out of this at the bottom here. Cancel. Uh, template two, I can remember that's the torso. Template three, it's the legs and the toenails. Okay, let's go do this. So I'll right click again, map transfer. So once again, I'll right click here, I say new template, that's template two, and that was called the torso. Left click and drag that up here. Next one is template three. That's going to be the legs and the toenails. Let me go speed this video up a little bit while I recreate this here from scratch. Arms and fingernails. Mouth and teeth. Cornea, irises, pupil, and sclera. And template eight is the eye moisture. Look at that. Good stuff. The good thing is you don't have to do this every time. You only have to do this once, and then you can save this preset out with save here. And I might just go and do that just in case I need it again. There. Now it's stored so I can load it back again. So uh, there's a couple of things that we should look at here. If you go and select the templates with control click here, all of these, then you can specify where your converted maps 
are gonna go i'm gonna go and put them onto my desktop here into a special folder i might call that rune 9 and just save that as converted maps there we go that's where they live select folder and i'm doing that with all the templates selected so you could literally have template one go into a different folder than template two but if you multi select them then they all go into the same one down here under target uv that is the uv set that you want to convert your maps to so in my case it is indeed the base female but if you had anything else if you wanted to convert rune so that it fits i don't know the lilith uv sets you could do that we don't so we want to leave that on base female and the source uv set that is actually set on a per surface basis down at the bottom we can say what the format is for our map so i guess the default is jpeg we don't really want to use that we want to use png so that we retain as much detail as we can and then there's the baking quality you can set that to four or you can set that to ten that's kind of the slowest but also the most accurate i suppose and one is going to be the fastest but also one that maybe not be as accurate i might leave it on four here but you know feel free to crank that up then at the bottom here the dimensions we have something that's currently set to the hardware cutoff, which is 32,000. 760 it's a 32k map that's not really going to come out if you leave that at the largest option then the maps are going to be transferred at their current size so if it is a 4k map or if these are all 4k maps then they're going to remain 4k it's not going to up res it but if you had something larger like an 8k map or a 16k map and you wanted those maps to become 4k on export you can specify a lower number here and that is really it. When we hit accept, the baking process will happen. And this is going to take a little while. I'm not going to do that, though, because the baking process, I'm going to go cancel out of this, will happen in 3D Lite. And as such, we need to switch over our render engine for that to happen. If I had clicked accept now, I would have waited for a long running calculation with nothing that would have been usable on the output because all I would have gotten would be black map. So I need to switch this over on the render settings tab. I need to switch over my render engine from iRay to 3D Lite RSL here. And then I can go back into the map transfer with a right click on the surfaces tab where everything will be remembered. And then I can go and hit accept and that will now go and kick off the process. There's a status window here on the left that'll just show me the process. So it will take some time. Let's see what comes out. All right, that's taken care of that. Let me just go and open that folder and show you the output here under converted maps. This is what we have. So we have multiple maps now, but they're all now going to fit the new UV set. And now it means we have to switch every template over to look at these textures. And then I'll be able to use Rune with the regular base Genesis UV set. Let me do that. So first let's go and switch her over to base female. So then everything looks weird, but now I'm gonna go and get rid of UVs and I'll go and switch on to template one. I'll go and switch over the base color. You can also left click and drag that in if you prefer to do that. There we go, lips are already okay. So now it's translucency. This is gonna take a while, but uh, bear with me here. And I think that's done it. Perfect. So now Rune looks okay with the regular Genesis 3 base female UV set. And we can prove that point by just going over to figure out what UVs we're using. That's it. That's it. Exactly. If we go back to the Rune set now, then it'll look wonky, perfect, namely wonky the other way. So that is how you use map transfer in a nutshell. So now I can go ahead and literally save this out as a material preset and then use that with anything that I need it for. For example, the K-Man Studios legacy UVs for Genesis 9. I hope this was helpful and I hope I could teach you how to use map transfer. There's a very short, nice comprehensive video by Josh Darling, one of the DAS technical artists that I'm going to link to in the description. I hope you've learned something new today. And I hope I will see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.